LaCroix. Well, we had some bright skies last night. Thanks to high pressure and clear skies, we were able to see the northern lights. It was kind of perfect timing as a geomagnetic storm took place. These were some, these were some of the image, uh, images, I should say, that you guys sent in, and it was a gorgeous night indeed. So what happens when this occurs? Well, first step is you have a coronal mass ejection. We've been mentioning that a lot, and all that is is a big solar eruption from the sun. Again, big solar flares, an explosion of hydrogen gas, uh, almost atomic size explosions that are happening on the sun always, but whenever we get these bigger ones that kind of eject from the sun, they kind of make their way through space, and that's what we call a solar wind, and that's just like the atomic particles that are kind of making their way through space, but naturally they want to shoot out, but we have a magnetic field here on Earth. Thanks to the center of our planet that's kind of revolving from here and there, that tends to create a magnetic field here on Earth, and all of those particles are drive toward the North and South Poles. Now the big story about the North and South Poles is that's where all these particles are generated. So whenever we have all of this energy redirected toward the planet, it tends to distribute those colors, the pinks, the blues, and the purples, but it's usually concentrated into the far northern latitudes where our poles are. Now, depending on intensity of these geomagnetic storms, we can get northern lights all the way down to far extremities of the mid latitudes. And that is exactly what we saw last night with those gorgeous images. And we will likely see that once again tonight, but it's not going to be as intense. Again, we are uh, expecting to see the solar storm kind of calm down over the days to come. So even tonight, there are peaks where we could see vibrant skies and lulls at times. Again, this is not consistent. It's kind of coming in in waves, but that will continue to occur tonight. So weather wise, though we are still tracking high pressure across the region and that is going to continue all the way through the weekend. You can see a strong marine layer that is starting to develop out toward the Oregon coast. You can see that on satellite right now as the uh, sun starts to rise on the horizon and that is going to be prominent throughout the course of the day. Now big story moving forward is high pressure, right? It's still locked in place and it's acting as almost like a heat dome here across the northwest tends to suppress cloud cover. And that's exactly what we saw last night and we were able to see those gorgeous images and we'll likely see that again tonight. I will say toward the coast, so if you want to see another glimpse of then you're going to have to move inland. Cloud cover is going to be uh, the case all the way through the course of the evening. Again, today we get a little bit more sunshine, but over the next several days, the cloud cover in the morning will last a little bit longer in the afternoon for the coast, and that's going to keep the temperature down. But inland, though, you can see sunny skies still expected across the Willamette Valley. Uh, 80, 87 degrees. We are going to be cooling things off to around 68 for Sunday. So all in all, let's take a look at that seven day forecast for the coast. 62 degrees Saturday afternoon. Again, we are expecting the cloud cover to persist. This is low clouds, not necessarily upper level clouds, so we are expecting temperatures to remain in the 60s all the way through next week. Across the Umqua Basin, 90 degrees today, so today is really the peak of the heat. We start to cool things off, especially by Monday and Tuesday. Again, cloud cover in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. Anytime you really see clouds on the graphic, that's going to be the case this week. For the Cascades, similar story, 59 degrees on Monday. Again, sunshine mixed with clouds for the rest of next week. We have the ends tonight, 6.05. Again, really, they're at home all week this week. Temperatures are cooler for baseball, though. Back into the low 70s again, Friday, 68 degrees. All right, home, thank you very much. Well, coming up in